Science says that humans came from evolution, but some people don't believe in that. We are not here to insult anybody or say if it's right or wrong. But scientists and science itself says humans went through evolution and they got better and better. First, let's look at the past and future of humanity and see how we went through evolution and what the future is going to be like. For example, in the year 1870, which is 150 years ago, an American male's average height was 170 centimeters. But 150 years later, so right now in 2021, the average height is 178 centimeters. History shows that 10,000 years ago, humans couldn't digest other animals' milk, and even drinking it could cause death. But now you could easily drink whatever milk you like. Some people believe that back in the day, humans lived longer, but that is 100% false. The more advanced humans get, the longer our lives get. And in the last 70 years, the average age has gone up 20 years. Most of this improvement is because of technology and diet. And the other reason is that the evolution is helping us get better and better. The speed of technology goes up and the speed of evolution goes up too. Before advanced technology, human evolution was pretty slow. But right now, the more advanced we get, the faster evolution goes. What's going to be like in the future for our bodies? In 1000 years, what's life going to be like? Let's go forward slowly. Smartphones are a new thing and you really can't imagine life without it. But they predict in a few decades, the speed of computers and smartphones are going to be as fast as a human brain. Computers are going to get to a level that not only will they take orders, but they'll listen and remember. Pretty much like a human. And this is when nanotechnology comes in and they could send robots inside your body and make your body better. Like they could send robots inside your body and kill cancer cells or like rebuild a part of your body. Let's say you have knee pain. You could send these little robots inside your body and they could pretty much rebuild your knees. It would feel like that you never had pain. Another prediction for the year 3000 is that there will only be a hundred languages around the world. Which is good to know that right now there is 7,000 languages around the world. In a thousand years, the earth is going to get warmer and the atmosphere is going to get thinner. That's why our skins will become darker. And that's because the smaller atmosphere causes our skin to become darker. And this heat makes humans grow taller and skinnier. Because taller and skinnier releases heat from the body. Until then, there will be a lot of mutations. Like for example, there could be a new eye color. Like a color that has never been seen before. Right now, some of these mutations have been happening. Like you can find people that can digest metal and glass. And there are other people that are born with tetrachromacy. And this mutation causes your eyes to see a hundred times the color other humans see. These mutations happen, but it for sure won't go to every human, unless it helps the human a lot. Like eating glass and metal is not useful, but tetrachromacy seems useful. Technology will grow so fast that you cannot believe it. 
In a near future, before your baby is born, you can check the baby's gene and modify the body. Pretty much like modifying a car, like upgrading your brake or upgrading the engine to make it faster. But right here, you're making a human better. It might seem weird, but in the near future, you could also edit the human's face. Like edit the eye color to whatever you like, or even the hair color or the hairstyle. With these improvement in technology, human age is gonna grow a lot. Cause you can make humans not get sick from viruses and never get sick. Stephen Hawking used to say, if we don't destroy ourselves or any natural disaster takes us out, humans are gonna be around for a very long time. And that's because humans will become so advanced that they could prevent natural disasters. Or they can even live on other planets. You could say the biggest threats to humanity are these two, natural disasters or a World War III. And if none of these happens, humans will occupy a lot of other planets. Some scientists also believe that dying will no longer have a meaning because we will become so advanced and scan a brain atom for atom and make the human alive inside a computer. And you will become a piece of memory that can travel anywhere at the speed of light. In this situation, there will be no body, but your thoughts will be there. Maybe for some people, this might seem funny and stupid, but let's go back 20 years. In the last 20 years, how much have we improved? If you wanted to make a long distance call, it would take a few seconds for the message to come and go. And that's why making long distance calls were so annoying. But right now, you could FaceTime anywhere in the world, talk instantly, and see their face in high definition. And that little piece of technology in your pocket is better than any computer from 20 years ago. So the speed of improvement in 20 years shows that in the long run, technology is gonna boom super hard. And the things might seem impossible in our heads right now. So in your guys' opinion, in a thousand years, what's life gonna be like? And where would humanity be? Please comment.